So a few months ago, I offered a video on how to reduce anticipation on the working exercise, Retrieve Dummy Between Two Boats. This is the boat exchange exercise where your dog rides on the second boat to the far marker, then retrieves a dummy that's thrown by you between the two boats. The dog jumps from the other boat, retrieves the dummy, and delivers it back to you. For some dogs, anticipation can be a challenge with this exercise. That video was recorded in the winter as an example of how to train the exercise in a different manner with a strategy for resolving anticipation. There's a link to that video in the description below. As part of that first video, I promised to make a second video showing the same techniques, but in the water. Well, this is that video. Hi, I'm John Brock, and this is the Underachiever's Guide to PWD Water Training, where the joy is in the journey. In order to overcome anticipation on the retrieve dummy between two boats exercise, you want to reduce your dog's overwhelming drive for the dummy. You want to replace your dog's drive for the dummy with a desire to come to you. In an effort to make this happen, you are going to train your dog to come to you before retrieving the dummy. A side benefit of this training technique is that it can also improve the jumping times of dogs who are hesitant to jump. Calling a hesitant dog to you will be more motivating than sending him to a dummy. Watch this. The first step is to simply place your dog on the second boat and have him rowed away. Once the boat is at the second marker, call your dog to you. Don't throw a dummy, just call your dog to you with big treats upon his arrival. Board your dog onto the boat. That's it. Do this a few times until your dog is jumping effortlessly and coming directly to you without hesitation. If separation anxiety is a concern, start small and add distance over time. Once your dog has mastered coming directly to you, then add a dummy. But don't throw the dummy until your dog reaches you. Call your dog from the other boat to you. Once the dog reaches you, offer a treat, then throw the dummy. Now send the dog to retrieve the dummy. Can you see where this is going? You are establishing a new order for this exercise. The new order is stay, come, retrieve. You are not sending your dog to the dummy. You are calling the dog to you and then redirecting him to retrieve the dummy. As your dog begins to understand the new order of the exercise, you can change the timing with your dummy throw. You'll want to throw the dummy earlier and earlier as your dog improves, but always call the dog to you and have the dog come all the way to you before sending him to retrieve the dummy. Finally, try the exercise for real. But here is the big change. Instead of sending the dog to the dummy, still call your dog to you and then redirect your dog to retrieve the dummy after he is in the water. Believe me, this method of training the retrieve dummy between two boats exercise will reduce anticipation, 
improve your dog's jumping times, and pay big dividends later when you are training the first master level exercise, double directed retrieve between two boats. Give this training technique a try and let me know how it goes. Finally, keep your training session short and upbeat. Don't push too far too fast. Always be willing to step back and build on your dog's successes. Don't get frustrated and remember because it's so very true. The joy is in the journey. Good luck. I'll see you soon.